Puerto Rico, and Tito is waiting for me now. So it's going to be a fabulous event, but we came to Puerto Rico because Puerto Rico are great people. Let the Puerto Ricans in. Why you got them locked out? Let the Puerto Rican people in so they can be a part of this great extravaganza that Bob Aaron and I are promoting. We want every Puerto Rican, little ones, short ones, tall ones, fat ones, skinny ones, all the Puerto Rican people there, beautiful Henry. And when you know about that, you deal with that. So we got a great fight, but it's about Puerto Rico, the island in the sun, the island of brotherhood, love, understanding, and togetherness. Puerto Rico, viva Puerto Rico. We will have a great fight here. This is not an easy fight. This is not a gimme like many people think that it may would be. But right now, Joe Lewis said you can run, but you can't hide. So we are here, and we are happy that we had an opportunity to meet with the press earlier, not by invitation, but by a gracious, you know, just walking in. So in Puerto Rico, everybody opens the door to the other one. We all love each other. We got this, we got some, oh, yes, in the end. So this is what we do in Puerto Rico, because we are Puerto Ricans. And we are very happy, we're very proud, we have dignity, we will stand up. And so now we're going to have a fight that's going to be great. And I'm happy and honored to have Bob as the co promoter in this fight because now we are bringing, we are demonstrating the unity, the solidarity that we talk about and putting aside any differences in coming together for the betterment of Puerto Rico and the great country of Puerto Rico is going to be fabulous. So we want you now to beat the guy that when you were saying would be the underdog, but he stands up for the spirit of Puerto Rico. The spirit of Puerto Rico, yes. And so now, with that spirit, we will see who will be the victor on March the 12th. It's distributed by Showtime, Les Moonves, Matt Blake, and as you know, we captured pay-per-view. During my days with Tyson, we reigned in the pay-per-view business. So now we're here again, and we want all the Puerto Ricans, everyone, black ones, white ones, yellow ones, yellow ones, brown ones, you know, skinny and tall, all of them to come and say, we are Puerto Ricans, and no one can be proud of And if you cannot hear us, we'll say it a little louder. So with the Puerto Rico, let me bring the spirit of Puerto Rico up here with you with this young man from Nicaragua. His name is Ricardo El Matador Mayorga. Come on, Matador. Hola a todos los mariguanos. Que Dios bendiga a la tierra de, de todas estas mujeres que viven aquí. Yo he venido a pelear el 12 de marzo, no hoy para ganarle el campeón de ustedes, Miguel Coto. Voy a ganarle y se lo voy a noquear en cuatro saltos para demostrarle que él ya está fracasado. Hasta bien golpeado en la cabeza, hasta bien golpeado. Yo voy a hacer tu pesadilla, yo voy a hacer tu pesadilla. Tú no vas a poder dormir viendo mi una foto. Tú vas a ver cómo te voy a ganar el bloody. Perder a él, tú me suena la pesadilla. Yo soy el mejor y yo voy a noquear. Ustedes saben que lo voy a noquear. ¿Tú te recuerdas hace cuatro años que un tal Roberto, que a mí ya me llesa, te un galletazo porque quería joder a la mujer? Así mismo te voy a dar el poder a ti. Tú vas a ver cómo lo voy a ver durante la vida. Gracias por estar aquí, pero yo se lo voy a verguiar, le guste o no le guste. Siete semanas para seguir hablando basura, como se dice aquí en Puerto Rico, un refrán muy popular, perro que ladra no muere. Eh, te quedan siete semanas para seguir ladrando. Veremos el 12 de marzo quién muere de aquí. Buenas tardes.
¡Vamos! 